What's up YouTube? This is the Common Sense Professor and I'm going to come to you today with a little bit of a different video. I'm going to talk about purchasing a Harley Benton in the United States. Stay tuned. Okay YouTube, so this is my Harley Benton ST62 in Lake Placid Blue. It's an amazing guitar. It's beautiful. Hopefully you'll be able to see even how this actually arrived in Kentucky. So that's the whole point of this video. This video is I want to show you exactly what it cost to get this Harley Benton guitar or one similar in the United States. There's a lot of videos, a lot of review videos about these guitars and these are amazing guitars. Let me just tell you up front. But the point of this video is to show you exactly the process and the cost and how long, it take, how long it took me to get this guitar uh, from Germany to Kentucky, the actual cost of this guitar, because there's a lot of videos on there that'll say that these guitars are super cheap, which they are. This is my guitar. I purchased it with my own money, and this is my first electric guitar so I can learn how to play. I'm gonna be making another video to kind of show you my setup and everything that I purchased on a budget to get started playing. So let's get started by looking at exactly what these guitars cost in the United States. Okay, so we're going to start by going to thomanmusic.com. I'll link that below. We're going to add my guitar. That's the ST62 in Lake Placid Blue. You can kind of see the fretboard looks a little darker there. That's what I was talking about in the video. And oh, I need to remove the, that one guitar. When we go to checkout. I've already got my address in here. It's going to show the shipping. And there you go, 8221. So that's the total I paid for my guitar, $221. Now let's add back in that guitar that I just took off to see what that does to the shipping. Because a lot of people talk about um, Thoman having flat shipping cost. So it shouldn't change the shipping at all. But it actually went down about a dollar. So that's interesting. But there you go. So that's kind of the key. I think if you want to buy the cheaper guitars is to actually buy in bulk uh, if you have know someone else who wants to order it. Let's add the TE62 which looks awesome. I almost bought this guitar. Um, so we're going to add that and see what that does. And it actually went down even more which, huh, that's interesting. Alright, so let's add a case. Uh, they have a really good hard case here. Let's see what that does to the shipping. and $62 for an ABS hard case. I'm going to add it and we'll go to checkout. And it went up some. So so I don't know if there's a limit on items. Now this is interesting. I'm going to add a couple of, I'm going to take that back off and I'm going to add a couple of the ST62s and watch what the shipping does with this. This is kind of crazy. So I don't know what the sweet spot is with ordering these guitars. Apparently there's a limit on how many you can order to get that cheaper shipping cost. $198 for shipping. Now this is the part that amazes me. I ordered my guitar on Christmas night and uh, it took it a couple days to ship. So it was shipped out on the 28th and I got my guitar in Kentucky on the 30th on Thursday morning, like early in the morning. That's just crazy to me how they can get that guitar here that quick. So generally I don't do an unboxing on my channel. Matter of fact, this is the first time I ever actually did an unboxing. But I wanted to show you exactly how the Harley Benton was shipped to the United States. So I'm going to open this up. And this is, wow, it shipped really well. And again, this came from all the way from Germany just a few days ago. So I am totally impressed with how well it shipped and how fast it was. You see that? 
Wow. Now, my first impressions of this guitar is just amazing. The, the build quality is excellent. My son has a Squire Bullet, and I was actually borrowing this classic Bob Squire Telecaster. Um, this is not mine, but I wanted to include it in this video to talk about a few points. Both these Squires had issues with them Small issues, nothing major. This is an amazing guitar too. I mean, this, this guitar is fantastic. But my point is this Harley Benton is spot on with the Squires. Um, there was a, just a couple of issues, actually only one issue that I've noticed. Uh, the frets are pretty dry. Uh, again, I'm not a professional, but I can tell that they're dry. So um, I had to do a little work to it and the action was a little high. And that was because some of the bridge pickup Screws weren't screwed in all the way, um, but I fixed that, it fixed the action. I don't have really, the action's really comparable to the Squire uh, Classic Vibe. It's an amazing guitar. The only issue that I have is on the pit guard, there's a space right up here. And I don't know if you can see that in this picture or not, but it's just a little bit warped. And I think that was because of the top screw uh, might've been installed just a little lower than actually what it should have been installed possibly. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's, it's really nothing. I mean, I, I mentioned that because that's the only issue that I've, I've seen with this guitar as far as quality goes. There were some other issues. Like I said, the screws, that was just a matter of screwing them down a little bit uh, on the bridge. That was not a big deal. Uh, the one issue that I thought was a big deal was actually kind of funny. So uh, on the back of the the, the plate on the back, the plastic back, which I always see a face when I see this. Anyway, um, but this plastic piece, I thought it was just terrible as far as quality control goes. Well, come to find out it had two layers of plastic on it and all the frayed plastic that, I, what I thought was frayed plastic was from the, the protective layer. I just peeled that off and voila, it's perfect. I do wish that this was more of the mint color of the pickup guard to make give it kind of vintage look, but I mean, who's going to look on the back of your guitar? And Dave Simpson would remove it anyway. Dave Simpson is just amazing. And he's got an ST62 that he didn't like the neck. I have no issue with the neck, but again, I'm starting out nowhere near Dave Simpson. But the neck to me is just phenomenal. Um, it's satin. So as far as the classic Bob, it's more glossy. And I'll show you some pictures here, but it's more glossy. Uh, and so I like this more satin finish. Um, the, the fretboard looks a lot better in person than what it did on the website, but it is amazing. Uh, it looks great. Uh, this is the Vintage Series. I don't know if you can see that. That's probably not gonna pick that up, but it's the VT Series on the, the, the headstock there, um, which simply means it's vintage. The pickup guard, let's talk about that real quick. So this pickup guard is mint green. If you read on the website, this is the thing I was worried the most about was the pickup guard. Um, after I read that it was mint green, I loved it at first because I loved the vintage look that it gives. But after I heard it was mint green, my thoughts were, how, how does mint green match with Lake Placid Blue? Well, it's kind of like that, if you remember that thing that went around on social media where you had the, the gray shoes and it's, or whatever color it is, and it says, is this gray or pink or whatever, I'll try to find the picture and post it here. It's kind of the way this is. So if I did not know that this was mint green, to me this it looks more of a cream vintage look. Uh, it's so light. You can tell it's mint green if you look at it just right, but it's so light. I mean, it really looks more like a antique cream, which is the goal that they were going for with this. So I just think it looks amazing. The, uh, the pots, they're great. Uh, no issues. This five-way switch. No issues there. I mean, just everything about this is just fantastic. The Roswell pickups has a great sound. Um, and again, I'll make another video showing you the, the budget amp that I got to go with this. Obviously, I did not get a tube amp uh, starting out. I just got a small solid state amp, uh, thanks to Landon Bailey. Uh, some of his videos, it helped me decide which amp to get, and it's a great amp. But here's the thing, and, and you, so, so far I've shown you the cost. I showed you how quickly I got this ship from Germany to the United States. 
but when you look at the review videos, many times they're reviewing this with either the Squire Bullet or a Fender Stratocaster. And so here's my final thoughts on, on buying Harley Bentons, especially in the United States. This is more in line with the classic vibes. So if you look up the Squire Classic Vibe 60s guitar, I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're trying to mimic that guitar. And I unfortunately have not played that. Um, I have, again, that's the reason I brought the Telecaster here because I have played this Telecaster and the quality, the sound, everything is spot on. The tuners, the competitor for this Harley Benton ST series, and I would say the Telecaster would be the same way, just guessing, I haven't played one, it would be the classic vibes from Squire. But I don't see a lot of people comparing them. I think there's one or two videos up that I've, I've seen that too, but I've never seen this compared directly with the Squire Classic Bob 60s. And so here's the thing about that. Look at the total cost of this guitar, around $220, $230 shipped to your house. The Classic Bobs, which by the way, Fender just raised the price of all their guitars, now is just under $500. This comes in at more than half price of a Classic Bob. This, hands down, in my opinion, is a better value and a fantastic guitar. This is a pretty wide neck, and so it's also very flat. That's gonna be one difference, I think, when if anyone was to compare the two. This, in my opinion, will hold up hands down next to a Squire Classic Vibe at half the cost. And so if you're looking at that, I would say spend the extra money, get the Vintage Series. But now when it comes to the lower end models, I would say go for the Squire Bullet. Now, Dave Simpson loves the Squire Bullet. I played my son's Squire Bullet. Two issues that I've seen with his guitar over this guitar. Number one is the fretwork. Uh, the fretwork on his is pretty sharp. Um, the quality control wasn't quite as good as with the Harley Benton. And then his tuners are way cheaper, which you're having to tune his guitar a lot. These are great tuners. Again, real similar to the Classic Bob tuners. So here's the thing, if you want to get a guitar that's comparable to a classic Bob, by all means, the ST62, I say is comparable. If you're looking to get that cheaper Harley Benton guitar, I would say go ahead, if you're in the United States, go ahead and purchase the Squire Bullet. I'm not sure what the Squire Bullet's come in now since the price increase. I'll post that here. But by the time you add the extra $80 to the Harley Benton, you can get a Squire for about the same price. Okay, so I hope this has helped you. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people make these videos. If you have any questions, please post them down below in our comments. And uh, hope you have a great day.